Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature armchair in a modern style. And as I've said before, I'm pretty new to upholstering furniture, so I want to thank you for guinea pigging this with me. I very much appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, a comment, or subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I hope you enjoy. So I started with a picture that I found online, and I drew that out the scale. I also drew in the armrest and the seat cushion. If you don't draw very well, feel free to take a pattern from online and enlarge it to fit what you need. Then I'm using some popsicle sticks from a previous video that were already cut, cut up and glued together. And I traced the seat cushion onto the popsicle sticks. Make two. Then, using some additional popsicle sticks, you're going to line those up horizontally and glue them along each of the seams. Then place the other sheet on top and that way you have the miniature popsicle sticks sandwiched between the jumbos. Then using additional jumbo popsicle sticks, I traced the back of the chair. And what I basically did is I lined it up so that they fit the bottom and then I just traced the curve. Cut each of those sticks in half and then using the seat that you just made, you can start gluing them with the center one first. Of course, these aren't going to stretch all the way to the end of the chair. So if you use the picture that you made, you can trace the armrests and cut that out of a popsicle stick as well. Once the back pieces are glued in place, you can roll the chair onto its side and put one of the armrests in the front. Then draw the area between the last piece of the popsicle stick and the very front of the chair. Use that piece as a template and cut out additional popsicle sticks to fit it. I'm using some foam that I showcased in a previous video and I talked about it again in my tools video. And then I'm wrapping this and gluing it towards one end so that it forms a bit of a tooth. Pin that in place while the glue dries. And then, once it's dried, I'm going to wrap this around the chair. I want it on the side of the arm, but towards the top of the chair, I'm rotating it just slightly so that it's at the back. And then I painted the chair yellow. This is just so the dark wood won't show up through the felt and the yellow fabric since they're both light colors. Now I'm using yellow felt and wrapping that around. I'm just trying to even out the space between the wood and the foam. Wrap it and glue it underneath the foam, cutting slits as needed. Once that glue is dry, you can cut off any excess. Then I drew a pattern on the back of the chair using the felt. Just place a piece of felt onto the back and trace underneath the foam and along the bottom. You can cut that out, and I suggest you cut out too. That way you'll have a pattern for the fabric. Cut out a small rectangle and glue that across the front. Now you've completed the pattern, and it's time to work on the fabric. Obviously, with yellow paint and yellow felt, I'm going to use yellow fabric. I cut a triangular shape except it's rounded out on the back and rounded in on either side and flat at the front. 
I'm going to refer to this part as the cape because it drapes over the chair and connects between the back of the seat and the bottom of the seat back. Glue that in place and allow it to dry. Then you can cut a small rectangular piece, fold it and iron it on either side, and glue that across the top of the seat and at the bottom of the seat. And now back to the cape. Cut in slits along the back of the cape. I'm starting with two at a time and cutting them as needed. Pull it tightly around the foam and glue it underneath. Then cut in additional slits and repeat that same process with the rest of the fabric. Allow that entire section to dry before going on to the next part. For the arms, I'm using a piece of fabric that looks like half a rainbow. Drape it over the arm and kind of get an idea of how it's going to fit. That little curved part is going to need to fold in and get ironed. And you're going to have to do the same thing to the very front. But let's work on the curve first. Fold it in and iron it on one side. Drape that across and pay very close attention to the armrest now. That little section on the inside is going to need to be folded in. Fold that in, iron it. Now you can cut off the excess fabric. Next, redrape that shape back over your arm and glue it in place at the bottom of the seat back. Then glue it towards the bottom. Cut off the excess and you can now use the pattern that you created with the felt on the back or of course you can use a brand new piece of fabric and retrace that pattern. To make this easier I decided to do mine in two parts. So I glued the first part into place ironing down the front, the sides, and the bottom. Then repeat the same step onto the other side. Going back to the armrests, I had to shave these down a little bit so that they would fit the new shape of the armrest that's being created with the fabric and the padding. Then I cut a piece of felt to fit it and put them on some yellow scraps of fabric. I glued the straight piece in first and glued the fabric onto the back of the wood. Then I continued that all around the rest of the shape. Once completed, I glued those onto the front and kind of snugly pushed them against the inside of the fabric on the armrest. I used the pattern for the seat cushion and trace that onto a bit of the foam. I left a tiny bit of excess towards the front, just in case. I cut two pieces out of the foam and glued them together. Then I also cut a piece of felt that was about half an inch longer on the straight side. Glue the felt onto the foam and drape the excess part of the straight side over the straight section of the front of the seat cushion. Allow everything to dry before going on to the next step. Next, cut out a piece of fabric that's the same shape as the seat cushion. Then you can fold this in along the front first and then cut slits to fold around the rest of it. Allow it all to dry once completed. For the legs, I'm using square dowels. I cut these off into three quarter of an inch lengths and then I'm cutting them off on a diagonal. 
Then I flip it to the side because now it forms a rectangle. And I'm cutting off just a tiny little bit so that it's a square again. Paint those to whatever color you'd like. I'm using a dark brown. And glue those to the bottom of your chair. And that's it. You're done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.